What's up, Panther fans? You know, this is Panthers or 89. And I'm pumped for this game. University of Phoenix Stadium, I'm be in the building. Man, I can't wait for it. I'm ready for this game to come. Now, looking at both teams here, starting off with the Panthers, we're 18th in offense, 3rd in defense, 32nd passing. Now, remember, uh... You know, the uh, game against Seattle, really conservative. Cam only threw for like 125 yards. Um, so I don't really, I, you know, the stats kind of skewed. Um, and then third and rushing. Um, you know, defense, top five, like I said. Uh, the offense has uh, the uh, potential to be uh, top ten, top five, past two weeks. That's what I really look at is past two weeks. Um, and I think we really show what kind of uh, offense we can be. We can be, be a very dangerous offense. Um, very very uh, balanced attack. So you really don't know what way we're going to hit you. Um, and then uh, going to the Arizona Cardinals. Um, you guys are 27th in offense, 14th in defense, 18th in passing, and 26th and rushing. Now, you guys do have some weapons. You do got Larry Fitzgerald. Um, uh, he uh, he used to be one of the best receivers in the league. Uh, no doubt about it. And then you guys lost Kurt Warner. Now, you guys, you know, went from Kurt Warner going to the Super Bowl, um, you know, almost beating the Steelers. You guys could have easily won that game to Kevin Cobb. And then to John Skelton's, I really don't blame Larry Fitzgerald's numbers so much on Larry Fitzgerald. Um, he's uh, it seems he's gotten back to form a little bit uh, with Carson Palmer. Damn, Carson Palmer still playing after the Kraken got him. Ooh, man, that was a hit. Um, but uh, I mean. Uh, in my opinion, I think Carson Palm is just kind of a washed-up quarterback now. Uh, it's like Donovan McNabb, kind of, when he was trying to play before the uh, Redskins and the Vikings, you know. I mean, I don't think he's that bad, but uh, I think he's a little washed up. You know, in his prime, he was really good, but you know, he ain't in his prime no more. Um, your run game, uh, really not much. Uh I guess Rashard Mendenhall is your number one back, but I guess you guys really do it by committee more. Uh, and then going to your defense, uh, it's middle of the road pretty much, average defense. You guys do have Patrick Peterson that I will admit is an absolute stud. He is a freak of nature. They play DB, receiver. Dude, that guy is a fucking beast. I, I, I give it up for him, man. He's a, he's a fucking beast. Um, so... Arizona, you know, I, I really don't know where what you guys are doing or where you're trying to go. I mean, you're 2-2. Two and two. Uh, I don't really like judging wins um, because we're only four games really into the season. This is week five. Um, so I don't really think you can judge so much, you know, whether teams are going to the playoffs, whether they're a playoff team or not. I mean, beat the Lions, but... I mean, I don't want to say they're a fluke team, but they kind of seem a little fluky to me. Um, they beat Tampa Bay, which is an absolute fucking mess. I mean, their defense is good. Uh, everybody I thought was overhyping Doug Martin. I'm not saying he's a bad back or anything. I'm just saying I thought people were overhyping him too much uh, because he had that game against Oakland. Everybody's saying he's Adrian fucking Peterson. I mean, I just thought he was being overhyped and then. I mean, you can go back to one of my, you know, videos, I breaking down the NFC South, where I said the downfall of Tampa Bay is going to be their quarterback. And, you know, I said they got a good defense. You know, they, they should have a running game. Um, but the quarterback is your downfall, and it is. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Now you guys are trying, playing, trying to play a guy named fucking Mike Glennon. Are you kidding me? Look at that motherfucker. You really think he's going to play quarterback in the NFL? Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here with that. So, Tampa Bay, you're just an absolute fucking mess. 
uh, it seems like you know, it seems like your players don't even like your coach or whatever. So I mean, but really, who pays attention to fucking Tampa Bay? Then you got ESPN, fucking. Oh my God, uh, Josh Freeman got benched. Nobody gives a fuck about Tampa Bay. Are you kidding me right now with that, man? Come on. I mean, fucking people in Tampa Bay don't give a shit about the Buccaneers. Look at their fucking stadium. That shit's like fifty percent full. Are you kidding me? Come on. This is an absolute joke. Now, I don't even know how I got to start talking about Tampa Bay, but anyway, I wanted to touch on something. Uh, in my last video, uh, it was uh, after the Giants game. I said, you know, we beat them 38 to nothing, and I said, we are going to get not an ounce of respect. And the story is going to be what's wrong with the Giants. Panthers are going to get no respect. What the fuck happened? Watching, uh, you know, ESPN, whatever, they... Looking at it, it's like, what's wrong with the Giants? What the fuck? Can we give some respect to the Panthers, please? I mean, goddamn. When do you see a team get beat 38 to nothing? You really just don't see it. It doesn't happen every week. The competitive balance in the NFL is absolutely just crazy close. I mean, how many times do you see a team, you know, be, you know, worst team in the NFL, boom, and then... You know, they're all of a sudden competitive. They're good. I mean, look at us. Uh, we're 2-14. and 14. That year was an absolute fucking joke. I mean, Matt Moore, Jimmy Clausen, I mean, Bryant St. Pierre. I mean, that, that year was a fucking joke, man. We're running draws on, like, 3rd and 10. It was ridiculous. Hey, by the way, you guys, uh, for the Cardinals, you guys still got Jeff King. I, I, think, it was, I think it was that year he caught a touchdown pass. I thought it was funny, but... And it was just like seeing that. I was just like, God oh, damn, that that was a bad year. Um, anyway, what I'm saying is, the point is like you know you can, you can look at Jet or uh, AJ Green. Uh, Bengals drafted him, I think, fourth overall, and then they were in the playoffs next year. But the point being is, the competitive balance in the NFL is crazy close. Um, so uh, seeing a game like that where we beat the Giants 38 to nothing, and then we get no respect for it. It's just like, what the hell, man? I mean, what do you got to do to get, earn some respect to get talked about, you know? I mean, that's an ass beating right there. That's like, a, you know, that's ass beating. You tell, hey, go to your room. You don't come out till, till I say so. And guaranteed it ain't coming out till you say so. I mean, that's one of those ass beatings. I mean, come on, man. You ain't, I mean, we ain't even got a word. It's just ridiculous. Um, But, you know, talking about the Cardinals, um... Yeah, I think you guys are a middle of the road team. Um, I don't really see anything more than that. Um, I don't. I don't really know how you guys are gonna finish up. I think you guys got a pretty tough schedule. Uh, I'm not sure, but like uh, I don't. I don't really put anything into the schedule because, I mean, you see it. Like, look at the Minnesota Vikings. They were a playoff team, and now they're one in three. So, really. Strength of schedules really doesn't mean anything. I mean, we're only four games in. So you can't judge teams. So, I mean, who knows? The Cardinals could. Who knows what the Cardinals do? Who knows on that? Um, uh, and this, this game, I just can't wait for, though. Um, I, you know, I don't really know what else to say about this game too much. Um, I'm predicting a Panthers win. I'm going to say the score being 37-10. to 10. Predicting a blowout, um, but should be a good game. Uh, we'll definitely get to the two and two record, um, and we're in the hunt, man. Uh, we got a good football team, uh, but you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't really know any uh, cardinal uh, vid makers on here. Um, I know. Uh, I know there's a few of them. Uh, voice uh, was talking about, I think, on one of his videos, calling the cactus pricks. Um, so, I don't, uh, uh, maybe I'll make another video, um, see if I can check out some of their videos. So, maybe I'll come out with another video tomorrow. Um, but I think that's about all for this video. So, thanks for watching. Go Panthers.